everybody and welcome to UK Survival. My name is Pete and today we are looking at trying to find the natural youth box for some scouts to do some sleep shots. So here we go. Okay, so well, welcome back everyone. So today is going to be a little bit of a v vlog really. Um, tomorrow I'm doing a bushcraft course with a local scout group and I was trying to think of ideas to do and I was driving the kids to school and I drove past this lovely fallen sycamore tree. That, um, the river's overflowed itself, you see it's down the walk in. The river's overflowed and all the amount of snow and rain and it's basically just fallen down. So that means I've got access to the very top part of the tree which I usually wouldn't have done. Um, let's climb the tree and making it dangerous. So this is going to be a really good opportunity just to come out now just for an hour or so um, and to cut down as many natural forks as I possibly can find. I've got my Laplander backhoe saw with me. I've also got, along with the journey, I've just got a more safety knife, um, which is basically a safety knife because it's got a blunted tip. This is ones I use for the kids, um, sort of thing on there. I was doing a course yesterday, so I still had some of them in the car. I thought I'd bring you along the journey to see how many of these forts I find. I've got 26 kids on the um, over to, over a two period, over a two week period, so I'm hopefully going to be able to find at least 16 today is what I'm after um, of these natural decent forks. So let's tag along, see what we can find. <laughs> I think this one is slightly too big, unless you're going to use some sort of major, major bat set. But look, at that, look at that, lovely forks over there. But we can see over here we've got some quite chunky ones, but you can make a nice decent fork out of that when you whittle that down. Um, I'm going to carry on looking around, see what other ones I can find just to show you quickly. Um, nothing around there. I'll, I'll walk around the wellies, it's like nearly, at one time it was nearly like a foot deep. Uh, that's a bit uneven. I've lost a sock in my welly already because I've got a cold foot. Oh, look, look at that one there. Yeah, lovely. Oh, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, lovely little one on there. So I think I might do set the camera down now and let's dive in and try and get that one. Should have bought the axe out as well, it's in the car. What's this one? Well, it's a bit uneven. This one will work quite well. I left the bag over there as well. Oh, there's another, another little one down there as well. So let's just treat this one down.
So when I do these courses, I like to cut them too big, so I let the kids or people I'm teaching cut them down to the size they need. I make sure there's a decent handle grip and I just look at the fork size. So it gives them something else to do. I think this is carving, giving the use of the saw as well. That was so close. I thought that was going to snap then. <laughs> I just thought it was going to snap then, but that was my boot was proper. It was proper stuck, sort of right the way up, up the foot. And I thought I was going to go in. But Hey, let's keep on going, keep on searching. I picked up an old gas canister and I thought I'd do a, um, a little brew just before I go home. I've got a screw gas gas burner and a push on gas bottle. What a schoolboy era. Okay, I'm not going to be having a brew today out here. The wood is just far too wet. I'm too close to a road um, to be lighting a fire getting um, a hot drink on the go that way. So, that was a bit of a schoolboy error. Next time, if you're gonna use gas, make sure you check the gas bottle actually connects to the gas stove. You know, I use a lot of um, natural fires to do most of my stuff, so I hardly ever use the gas. I thought, oh, I know I do. Uh, today, I'll do a little gas thing. Um, 
but not today. So let's just show you what we got then, shall we? So this is um, my bounty of, oh, and, and my saw. I, as I say, I like to try and get them a little bit bigger and what these need to be. So how many we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's 12, it's not a bad number. I wanted 16, but um, some of the some of the branches was too rotten. Um, there was some a bit higher up, but some of the stuff was a little bit rotten or too slippery with a load of mikin and moss over it. I didn't want to risk climbing over there, and it was too wet underneath it to fall down. So, give them something different to do. And we're going to try and just whittle them down, just to try to make a basic slingshot out of these. And, we're going to, and I'm going to take them home, and I'm going to put the rubber bands on, and then the next week they can come and test the thing. So, their main job to do today is going to be whittling them down. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll give you a photo on the Instagram page of some of the ones which have been whittled down with the names on so I know who they are. So as you can see, this before and after sort of shots of what the kids are going to be doing. So I'm going to pack this thing up now. Um, it's now coming on to five o'clock. That's probably at half past five now in the evening. So I'm going to get back and get some, cook, cook some chicken. We're doing barbecue chicken for dinner tonight. So it's going to be quite nice over there. Thanks again. Uh, thanks for all the support. Uh, if you like these sort of videos, click like down below, hit the notification bell so you get all the um, upcoming videos which will be coming up next. And also put a comment down below what you'd like to see me do next with, with um, some scouts or some, or some other um, kids got going over there. Um, and that's it. Also check me out on Instagram as well, every so often I put um, little stuff on Instagram just to show what I'm doing, just to give you some ideas what's coming up next. But that's it. Thanks for everything. Be safe. I'll see you later on for now.